Welcome to Live at Five, everybody. All this week, we've been focused on the ABCs of anxiety and stress relief. What we've been talking about is, just like this teapot, it boils up with water and it needs a release valve to let all that get out. Well, there are proven ways that we can let all that stress and anxiety out of us, and that's what we've been focused on this week. The A was altruism, and that's from Proverbs chapter 11. And it says, when I'm kind to other people, it actually benefits me. Now, a couple thousand years after Proverbs said that, Mayo Clinic, like the top hospital in the country, has come along recently and said that when we're kind to other people, when we act in altruistic ways, it's like a relief valve for all the stress and anxiety in us. Isn't that interesting? What was the B? Well, that was from Acts chapter 17. In God, we live and we move and we have our very being. The word being means we can actually be ourselves, be the person that God created us to be. We can't be that when we're under so much stress. When we're like locked down with all that stress. So anxiety expert, Dr. John Duffy says, in his opinion, the number one way to get that stress out, that relief valve of the teapot, is to be in motion, to move. So A, altruism. B, be in motion. What's the C for today on Friday? Uncertainty. Uncertainty is causing so much stress. Mayo Clinic says that uncertainty is like gasoline on the fire of anxiety. How long is this going to go? We don't know. Is it going to be another round that's worse than the first? We don't know how deep are the problems going to be. We don't know. We don't know. And what do we need? Mayo Clinic says we need certainty. How do you find that? Well, they said you can do it in simple ways. Now, it kind of blows my mind, but they say this. Even as little as getting up at the same time every day, that reduces our anxiety and stress. Going to bed at the same time every day. Getting dressed same time every day. Going through a practical, solid routine. We know this for sure that our children and our animals benefit greatly when they have a solid routine. Well, so will adults. So will you and me. We will benefit from having a solid routine. That's practical, but how about eternal? 1 Samuel 22, 31 says, The Lord's promises prove true. There's a certainty for us. We can focus on the fact that God's promises to you prove true. Now think about it. In Exodus, God says, I will fight for you. No matter what you're going through right now, God says, I am fighting for you. In Romans, it says that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father interceding for you. That's something to feel good about. In the book of Hebrews, Jesus says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. How about this one in Psalms? Psalms says, God says, I will never go to sleep on you. I will never slumber and I'll never sleep. You ever had somebody fall asleep on you? Like you're pouring your heart out to them and you look over and they're sound asleep. That's never happened to me, but I've heard it happen to other people, right? But that doesn't feel good. God says, I will never fall asleep on you. How about this last one? At multiple places in the Bible, God says, I will always, always, always love you. That's what we can be certain of. Focus on that. Latch on to that because you need that to decrease your anxiety and stress. That's what we need. A, B, C. All those three things in our life. Now I want to pray about that. God, help us to show kindness in word and deed. Lord, help us to move in you. And finally, Lord, help us to focus on the promises that you've given us that have proven true. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks for being a part of Live at Five this week, and I hope to see you next week. God bless.